Welcome to Workflow 1, Before the Patient's Visit. In this workflow, you will learn how to log in and view the schedule, how to manage appointments, and how to open a patient chart. To get started, double-click your profile icon on your desktop. When you've double-clicked, this will bring you to the login screen. If you can enter your username and your password, Press OK. This will be uh, the schedule for the day. These are the patient's appointments. The left hand side, there's the um, calendar here. Also, you can see the patient has arrived here, the very first patient. And normally, before you start, if you want to refresh, make sure to check the patient location. So they've been put down into the location exam room. So these, these are rooms are listed, so you know which room your patient is in. These are the view on, uh, icon on the top here. You can press for one day. You can check your schedule for five days. And you can always click back one day or you can go back into two days. So that's how you kind of jump back and forth with the scheduling. But on top of that, you can actually see this little thing hovering around here. These are all your due tasks and the referrals. Um, these just kind of give you a little alert if there's something that needs to be need your attention. Many clinics will expect you to check unsigned transactions at the start of each day. These unsigned transactions can also be found in this pop-up window. Managing patient appointments. In this demonstration, we will review how to remove, add, or edit patient appointment times within your scheduler. Do you never delete a patient because you want to keep a history to make sure um that the patient was booked and there was a reason why you canceled. So you can just simply cancel the patient, all disappeared. If you wanna add a patient, you can click here and drag it and you can bring up a patient's last name. So you pick your patient and the type is the office. and the reason they're coming in for. And you can also change the time, the appointment length time, you can edit and change the time from 10 minutes to if you want a 15 or 20 minutes. In this demonstration, we will review how to access a patient chart. You'll begin by selecting the patient's name from your calendar view. Click to select and double check that you have the correct patient listed at the top of the screen. Then you'll select medical you records. Click on the medical records. You can quickly overview the summary here. Uh, you can customize these windows too. So here's your encounters. It will show all your previous encounter. On the left-hand side, you will have all the overview, measuring, summary, results, documents, referrals, encounters, so on. On the right-hand side, you can see there's a problem list, use of medications, and the reactions, if they're allergy to anything, they're height and weight, the BMIs, notification if there's uh, intervention set up. And also if you have any tasks, it will appear in here. And the patient status, if they're married, smoking, unknown, all that. And patient's uh, information about their address. And if they're elderly patient or young patient, the memo will, you can keep your, Note that in here, don't call patient before 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. Those examples in here. This now concludes workflow one before the patient's visit. Thanks for watching.